it's about 11 o'clock and I just got home from my long day. And I decided it was about time to do a vlog since I haven't done one in a while. I just, tonight I had class and we toured the hospital pharmacy and then there's my uncle's birthday dinner. Except I didn't get any goddamn cake because he's still working on the car and I had to come home or I would, would have fallen asleep on the drive home. And I decided that me falling asleep probably wasn't the best idea. So. God, I get distracted easily. But anyways. Um. I had a fucking topic picked out for this too. And now I can't remember. Oh, okay. So. Men are pigs. I apologize straight out to the guys that actually read my blog and are probably going to watch this, but sometimes being with my uncle makes me realize how douchey most guys turn out to be. Um, he recently split up with this, his girlfriend that he was with for five years, and he didn't even wait for her to leave or for the relationship to officially end before he started dating another girl. If any of you remember me dog sitting for my uncle a couple weeks ago, it's because he was down in Florida with this new girl. And that was like, you know, two days after his girlfriend had left. And he's already saying that he's in love with this girl. and all this other shit and I'm just like what the fuck dude it's like you can't even wait for one relationship to end before you start another one just sometimes I just don't think he thinks at all <laughs> and it's retarded because everyone knows about it I'm sure the girl knew about it because she was the other woman at one point she was the other woman when his marriage fell apart. So it just amazes me that he doesn't learn from his mistakes and it just gets repeated over and over and over again. But what can you do? So I guess that's where I'm going to open the question if any of you want to share your just really, really shitty relationship stories. I have talked about this one before, but I'll share it again just to keep the topic going. Let's see. So, as some of you might know, I got engaged at 17 because I was an idiot, and that's just how it was. Um, but. I don't know, that relationship was just extremely constricting. I didn't have any friends. I wasn't allowed to hang out with any guys unless they were pre-approved. Friends can be pre-approved, apparently, by your spouses. And... His father had died that year. And I was actually here in North Carolina looking at colleges when that happened. And when I couldn't immediately come back, he accused me of not caring. And at this point in time, this guy was the biggest love of my life. And it just blew my mind and had me in tears that he was accusing me of this. It was one of the lowest points in my life up to that point. When we had broken up, we broke up that summer for him to sleep around and he tried getting me back at the end of the summer. He came to my college on my birthday trying to get me back and we ended up getting a huge fight because, you know, I was in love with him but he was sleeping around, he pretended to be in love with me to sleep with me. And it was just awful. God 
damn it. Apparently this is still up. My computer just completely freaked out on me. So, yeah, he repeatedly said he was in love with me to continue to sleep with me whenever I'd come home from breaks. And pretty much as soon it was, as it was over, he'd kick me out and I ended up like going home crying half the time. It was awful. And it caused me to be depressed and pretty much suicidal for an entire year. So, that is my shitty relationship story. And I want you to tell me your shitty stories. Tell me the times this person broke your heart, left you in pieces on the floor. Because honestly, it'll make me feel a whole lot better. My life hasn't been going too well lately. <laughs> Like, you know, misery just loves company. It truly, truly does. <laughs> so tell me your, tell me your stories. Just comment away, and we will compare and contrast and figure out the the different stereotypes of asshole. It's gonna be great fun. I promise you. <laughs> you always love a chance to jump and just jump in to destroy your exes. If I know. I personally do. I pick on this one all the time, pretty much because he ruined my life, <laughs> but it's, um, yeah. Tell me your stories. I want to know. And it's great therapy, honestly, to talk about all of this stuff. I know that's the only thing that's helped me over these past few years. So, with that that, I'm gonna leave you, and I hope you have fun with your whole, like, you know, minute of me just freaking with my computer. <laughs> and, I'll see you out in the vlogging world.